Hello, welcome to video seven. Today's title is Get Rid of Those Nasty Fractions. We're going to look at equations that have many fractions in them, and we're going to learn how to get rid of those. So to do this, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, and that will clear the fractions for us. Let's look at two examples. In our first example here, we see that the denominators are 4, 5, and 20. We need to find the least common denominator of those numbers. So the least common denominator is the same as the least common multiple. It's the smallest number that can be divided by 4, 5, and 20. We see that the least common denominator for these numbers is 20. Okay, so let's multiply both sides by 20 and see what happens. So we're going to do 20 times the left side and 20 times the right side. When we multiply the left side by 20, we get 20 times 3 fourths. You can use your calculator and the ABC key if you want, but you should get 15x. Plus, we're going to do 20 times 9 fifths, and when we do that, we get 36. On the right side, 11 20ths times 20 is 111. Okay, now look, this equation is much nicer than the one before it. And so I'm going to continue with basic moves and solve it. I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. And I need my calculator here. 111 minus 36 is 75. And now divide both sides by 15. And I get x equals 5. It's not a bad answer for a question with so many fractions. We can't expect it to work out to a whole number all the time. On many of these problems, our answer will be a fraction as well, but that's okay. All right, let's take a look at a second example. The denominators are 3 and 7. The smallest number that can be divided by 3 and 7 is 21. So I'm going to multiply both sides times 21. So the whole left side times 21 and the whole right side times 21. 21 times 2 thirds is 14x. 21 times 9 sevenths is minus 27. And on the right, 13 times 21 is 273. Super, much better. Now, we're gonna do uh, what we usually do. We're gonna add 27 to both sides and we get 14x equals 300. Okay, divide by 14. And x is 300 divided by 14. If you enter that in your calculator and find the decimal, it's going to be kind of a, a nasty decimal. So I want to leave it as a fraction, but I'm at least going to leave it as a reduced fraction. You can use your ABC key to do this. You enter 300 over 14 and hit equals, it'll give you a mixed number, and then you can write the mixed number or you can convert it to an improper fraction. But when you do that, you get 150 over seven. Okay, so I'm not surprised. Uh, our answer is a fraction. All right, let's go on to the next example. Here we have two more, two more examples and then we'll be on to our general assignment. This is a little bit more complicated equation Get my pen back here. So uh, it has four terms, but we're going to do the same thing. I see the denominators are 2, 6, and 3. The smallest number that can be divided by 2, 6, and 3 is 6. So multiply both sides times 6. We have to distribute on both sides. 6 times 5 halves is 15x. We have to do 6 times 4. 9, which is 54, equals 6 times 1 6 is 1x, and 6 times 4 thirds is minus 8 there. Okay, so much better. It's like a quick improvement when we do this. So one step, get rid of the fractions. We can handle this now. So I get 14x plus 54 equals negative 8. We're going to subtract 54 on both sides. And 
we get 14x is negative 62. Divide by 14. Voila. Negative 62 over 14. And again, that's kind of an ugly uh, decimal, but at least we can reduce the fraction. We get negative 31 over 7. Very good. We're ready for our last example. I think you probably get it by now. Here we go. On the last one, we have three denominators, or three different denominators, 8, 6, and 4. So, just in case you forgot or are having trouble finding the least common denominator, one way to do it is write out the multiples of each number. So, I'm going to list the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and I'll stop there. Hopefully that's enough. I'm going to list the multiples of 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. The next one is 30. And the next one is 36. And then let's do 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Okay, so I listed the multiples of each number. Now I'm going to look for the smallest number that's in all three lists. And I see that that's 24. Okay, very good. So 24 is the least common multiple, and we're going to multiply both sides by 24. Okay, on the left, 24 times 7 eighths is 21, and that's times x. Plus, 24 times 5, 6 is 20. And on the right side, 24 times 1 fourth is 6x. And then we have plus 48. Everything got multiplied by 24. So much better. Subtract 6x from both sides. This is very old news for you guys. And then subtract 20. And then divide by 15. x equals 28 over 15. And there's no reducing for that one. It is reduced. Okay, so once we multiply through the least common denominator very carefully, we get an equation that's very easy to solve. All right, it's time for today's journal assignment. So please copy uh, these equations in your journal. So you probably want to pause the video. Uh, copy the equations and solve them. Show your work. And uh, good luck. See you in class.